Hi, YouTubers. It's Mary once again. Just coming with a quick thought. I uh, just thinking about some things about the the lessons that I learned, the the way I learned things compared to if somebody told me how something was done or told me something about a person versus me finding it out for myself. You know, just like you have a friend and they end up backstabbing you or betraying you. That's a that's to the heart. And it's different, much different than somebody else telling you how they are. And then uh, you find out that they are that way. But when you don't even sus suspect them being that way, and then you find it out, it's like, oh, my God. And it's a revelation and a lesson learned firsthand without any kind of teaching or forewarnings or anything. I was thinking about, well, my 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 great nephew has been not nephew my niece my great niece has been spending some time with me and uh, I have to watch myself because I, I I want to instruct and tell her and admonish her and I don't want her to just be turned off by what I have to say but when I think about it that was nobody to tell me anything when I was her age, because my mother passed when I was 16 or 17, and I just had to live life just feeling my way through and picking up, say, ooh, what is this, and experimenting. But even when adults did tell me things, I didn't, I didn't believe it. So nine times out of ten, she's not going to believe what I'm saying anyway, but I'm just doing what the elders are supposed to do. But I was thinking one time, I was working at a, a, a big aircraft company here, uh, Vault Aircraft, and the young recruits, we, we didn't know what we were doing, but they put us through school and you learn. And I was building the nacelle around the engine, and you don't even, you you see how it goes on the plane, but you just build it. You got the blueprints, and you build it. But as we began to put all the pieces together, and the more I learned, and, and you would get a hoist and move these big parts and putting stuff together, and we worked in the high bay area, this big, big hangar. And me and in my ignorance, I didn't even know it was a hangar because I worked the day shift and sometimes the Air Force would come in there and they didn't know if you were new or not because everybody had on a badge. And one time, a big time uh, officer, Air Force officer told me to get up on the, the plane and pull apart because he wanted to inspect it. And I didn't even know what he was talking about. But my supervisor knew I did. He said, he said, get your click hole, get your machine and take the click holes out and get this part for him. And he showed me what it looked like. And I kind of stalled and I did climb on the ladder and I got the part for him. And he just said, good, good job. And they call you by your last name. But as the plane was, it was a whole, we got a big old plane in this building. And I felt silly if I asked somebody, how are we going to get this plane out of this building? You know, but I wondered. And I, I, in, in the night, the day before they were going to take the plane out, I didn't know they were going to take it out. But I, I had to work second shift. And I came in the second shift. And when I walked in the high bay area, there were no walls. I said, oh my God, what did they do with the walls? It was just stars and moon. And, and we had a roof, but it wasn't no sides on the building. And this big plane just moved on out of the building. I said, dang. And I looked and the, 
it was a big garage. And I, I was just, I said, dang. So that's how they did it. But I'm so glad I didn't ask nobody that. You know, sometimes you have to just go on and figure, you know, let the universe unfold. And you have a question that you want, you ask the universe, and you'll get the answer. And those kind of answers is the ones you don't forget. And you know them to be true and you cherish those answers. I remember every time I wanted to know something about my ex or either any one of my lovers, I, 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 if I wanted to know what they were doing versus what they were telling me, I would ask the universe and, you know, time pass on and you ask and you're going to see it. And when you see it, don't be angry because you did ask and you got the answer. But when you find out how people are and, you know, it hurts, it really does. And you just have to keep moving and remember that this world, this universe, this plane we're living in, it's a stage. And everybody are actors. You are active, acting in this part. And, and you can play the part well because what you say coming out of your heart, you know the lines because it's you. You are that person. And people come in and out of your life. And like Shakespeare said, life is a stage. And... Fortunately, some of us can remember the lines better than others. And some people remember past life, past plays that they've been in. And I was, I'm fortunate enough to remember my, my early years and even past life. So it's okay. And I usually have to remember, don't be perturbed about things that you find out about people. But even when people tell you about somebody, you don't have to believe what they say. You could ask the universe, is this true? And then you'll find out if it is true. Because a friend will go the extra mile with you. I, I don't know. I had a friend. He was dear to me, but he was, he was a booger. And he would always tell me, he would say, Mary, you're going to miss me when I'm gone. And I said, where are you going? You ain't going nowhere. And when he, he in his dying hours, he asked me, would I walk him home? And I, I was able to do this to walk him home. So, you know, when you find a friend, you know, just be true to that friend, regardless of how they treat you. You be your friend and be yourself. That's all you can do. But remember the lessons that you learn on your own. <laughs> Those are true lessons. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.